Hi, it's Grandma Roseanne, and we're going to make an Asian shrimp tropical fruit salad. Really refreshing, great for summer. Um, I think actually it would be great any time of the year, but especially for summer. So I wanna make the vinaigrette first. I'm going to start out with a third of a cup of olive oil. To that, we've got the zest of one lime. It doesn't look like very much, but boy, I'll tell you, it gives you intense flavor. Three tablespoons of lime juice. One tablespoon of brown sugar. One half, one half, not one, one half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. One half of a, a jalapeno and I, I cut it in half, I removed the vein, I removed the seeds, and then I really minced it. Then we want um, red onion. I've got about one tablespoon of red onion in there, which was minced, and just a touch of salt, just like that. Very easy, very simple, very flavorful. We just want to mix that up. You will be surprised at how quick this is to put together and how incredibly delicious it is. All right, take a taste. So good. All right, come over here to the stove and we're going to now work with the shrimp. So what we have is we're going to um, cook this in one cup of wine. And I've got a Chardonnay here. You want to bring that up to a good boil. And I have a half a pound of shrimp here that I'm going to use, yeah, but once it comes to a hard boil. In the, but in the event you're not really sure on how to handle shrimp, what you do is the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pull this tail off, discard that, and then just come from the bottom around and you're just gonna be pulling those swimmers off, just like that. Very fast, very easy, very simple. And then with your knife, I want you to come right down the middle. And in here you will find the uh, intestinal tract, just like that. And just pull it out. You see that? Now this poor little guy didn't have too much to eat before, so there wasn't too much in the intestinal tract. But sometimes it'll be really black, and you definitely don't want to eat that, okay? So, let's get to boiling here. We're gonna have a half a pound of shrimp, and this is gonna be a delicious salad. I have a half a pound of shrimp here that I have peeled and deveined. I've got a cup of uh, wine, and we're just gonna drop them in there and let them just cook very quickly for about three minutes. And you'll know that they're done when they're red and they're kind of curling into themselves, they're, they're done. So we've got our three to four minutes there. Our shrimp are looking wonderful. And when we have cooked them in that nice Chardonnay, all the better. All right. So we're going to let these cool down for just a little bit. And put them in there. I want just a tiny bit of the vinaigrette. Give it a good stir. I'm going to pour it over the top of these. Just a little bit. cool down. I'm going to pop these in the refrigerator for just a couple of minutes. <laughs> I said that like I thought I had room in my refrigerator. I never have room in my refrigerator, ever. All righty. Now we're coming to the fun stuff. So you want to get some nice lettuce, just like that. I have got, uh, how much basil do I have in here? 
Oh, I have two tablespoons of mint, fresh out of the garden, three tablespoons of basil out of the garden, tiny little bit of salt, because that makes everything wonderful. And then you can use whatever fruit you want. I have a mango here. So if you're not used to using a mango, it has got an enormous seed in the middle. But if you just cut down and come along the side, cut down and come along the other side, then you can remove that uh, pit really easily. But it's a really big pit in there. And then what I've done is I've just diced it, just like this. If you want to use different fruits, you can use anything that you would like. You, uh, papaya, we've made it with papaya, it's delicious. If you don't want to use fruit and you'd rather use a cucumber because maybe you had a better season than I had because my cucumbers failed this year terribly. So I've had to go to the store and buy cucumbers. But if you have got cucumbers and this is the middle of your summer, use your cucumbers. Just get it in there, just like this. And we're going to add our shrimp. Just like that. Toss that very nicely. And then the vinaigrette. Always give it a good whisk, you guys. I taste a little bit of it just for seasoning. Needs a little bit of salt. And then we plate it. So I will be back in one second. So you have your salad complete and you can just get a bowl and a nice serving bowl for all the salad. If you're going to go like to a barbecue or you're having a group of people in they can all help themselves or if you want to class it up how about this how about this it took no time just some romaine lettuce up the side a beautiful beautiful martini glass and you have got a gorgeous presentation right here I love it when you can take really simple things and just make them beautiful. Now, let's see what our shrimp, mango, salad actually tastes like. Mm. It is really good. Oh, that shrimp poached in the wine is excellent. And I love the mango. I really love the mango. <clears throat> it would be just as good if you used another fruit. So whatever you want. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you make something beautiful and extravagant. And all you did was put it into a different glass. That's all you did, okay? But you look really like you fancied it up. Your guests will feel very special. So um, come back, subscribe. Hit that little subscribe button. We're posting all the time now. And I will list the ingredients below. I know it looked like there was a lot of ingredients, but honestly, it just took a couple of minutes to put them together. It was very, very quick. So thank you for coming, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.